Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your weekly channeled message. Let's find out what the message is for you in the current moment. My readings aren't date specific or time specific. They're you versus them scenarios. They can apply at any given moment in space time that you felt guided to the channel by spirit. These are not um, tarot readings. They're intuitive, intuitively channeled messages. I use my clear abilities to channel the messages and intuitively select the cards. So please don't confuse this with tarot. It's a bit more accurate than tarot. So let's see what the message is coming through for you today. If you're a Sagittarius or you don't have to be a Sagittarius to resonate with the message. You could be... Um, a fire sign the message could be for you but Sag Sagittarius energy is all about action and fire usually so Sagittarius you're coming up as a spirit animal of the sea turtle now this also can be reversed this could be about someone that you're connected to how they feel about you I don't get into specifics of all of that but generally speaking it's a you versus them scenario so you can be cross watching the energy but it just might be a message that you need to hear about someone you're connected to who could be in your energy field so let's see what message is coming through for you about this situation so someone's in the spirit animal of the sorry that was the wrong deck <laughs> Um, spirit animal of the uh, the sea turtle because they're feeling a bit emotionally overwhelmed right now. So let's see why this person could be feeling emotionally overwhelmed. Okay. Okay, so Sagittarius, you're connected to somebody who's coming up with the spirit animal of the sea turtle. Um, this is someone who's got a lot of feelings for you and the sea turtle is an energy of emotional overwhelmment. So I feel like you're dealing with someone who is feeling quite emotionally unstable because they're, they're feeling a lot of emotions towards you, a lot of feelings. You've put somebody in, in their feelings and the eight is coming up strongly in this, which is all about um, manifestations, eternal love and cycling in and each other out of each other's lives. So I feel like this is someone who wants to close an old cycle with you and start a new cycle, start a new beginning. I feel like they're really emotionally overwhelmed by what they're feeling for you. I feel like there's someone who uh, really re re respect you, admire you. And this is your energy. I feel like you're um, an empress. You're in the um, divine feminine energy. They see you as a divine feminine. And it's someone who um, admires you, respects you, and they would like a second chance with you. I feel like you've been in a previous cycle with somebody. And I feel like they're feeling quite emotionally overwhelmed with how they've treated you in the past. So I feel like this is someone who's um, feeling really bad for maybe mistreating you, not communicating their truth, not expressing their feelings. But we'll get a little bit more from this person and find out why they're, why they're feeling so overwhelmed, what's overwhelming them, and why do they want another ch a new beginning with you? Why do they want another chance at this? What is on this person's mind that's weighing them down so heavily? What's, what's upsetting them? What's making them feel so emotional? Okay, so I feel like you're dealing with someone who didn't appreciate you the way that you should have been appreciated. I feel like this is someone who um, respects you and admires you and sees your value now. And maybe in the past, they didn't treat you with the respect, gratitude, kindness and love that you deserve. So I feel like it's a masculine energy who really didn't show how much he cared about you, how much he appreciated you. He might have taken you for granted. And I think it's someone who really regrets the way that they handled you in the past because they recognize your value you're this beautiful empress energy the empress is the embodiment of all the queens so she's the queen of wands the queen of swords the queen of cups the queen of fire sorry the queen of um queen of earth or pentacles air so i just feel like this person really sees you as a, a queen and i think they you know in the beginning might have treated you like everybody else in their life i don't think they recognized how amazing you are as a person because maybe they didn't take the chance to get to know you You guys might have rushed into sexual connection with you he, he might have treated you 
you know, lack another option. He might have just, I feel like it's a masculine energy who went into his connection with you, Sagittarius, as, you know, something possibly casual. And he just assumed it would be a physical connection like everybody else. He assumed you were like everybody else. And I think this is someone who may have previously been dealing with some heartbreak. Um, but this person caught feelings for you. And I don't think they've, they've realized um, the depth of their feelings until now. And I think this person mishandled you. And I think they've, they've never really um, met a divine feminine. And they didn't know how to treat you. They didn't know how to respond. They didn't know how to act. So they treated you quite poorly. They didn't appreciate you. They didn't show their gratitude for you in their life. So that's the first message. We're going to find out a little bit more from the spirit animals and find out maybe if this person has more to say or if you're going to come through and find out what your energy is in this situation. But basically someone mishandled an empress and they're regretting it. I think, you know, it's not every day that you come across an empress. So, um, yeah, this person's quite overwhelmed with how badly they showed up. So we have peace and this is your energy or actually is this still this person's energy i feel like this is this person's energy yeah i feel like this is the masculine's energy here he's really contemplating and he's overwhelmed and the gorilla is a, a very strong energy that doesn't want to hurt anyone i feel like this nestle may have hurt you but it wasn't intentional i just feel like he operated in um his conditioning and it's um it's a very strong masculine energy who is really thinking about how he handled you. And what's this? This is the number, it's number one. So ones are about new beginnings, leaps of faith. I think this is someone who really wants a second chance at love with you because he's overwhelmed by his feelings. And he's feeling really guilty because I feel like he may have treated you badly or hurt you. And it's someone very strong that doesn't want to hurt you. This person doesn't want to hurt you anymore. They may have been someone who is quite abrupt dealing with people. And, you know, hurt people hurt people. I think this is somebody who's really regretting the way they handled you. And I just feel like he wants peace with you now. He wants to apologize for the way that he treated you. And uh, it's really overwhelming him thinking about the way he's behaved. So it's someone who's really evolved and grown on their journey who um, is feeling really bad for how they handle things with you. So I feel like maybe in the past they were quite immature. And I feel like this is someone who's matured a lot and they've grown. And I think, you know... You are this person's happiness. They see you as a dolphin. So this is your energy, Sagittarius. So let's find out a little bit from you. So you're a very high vibrational divine feminine energy. You're the bringer of joy. So I feel like you are this beautiful, beautiful nurturing empress energy. As you can see, there's a pregnant woman on this card and she's riding a dolphin and the dolphin's all about happiness so I feel like you brought a lot of happiness into this person's life. You might have been their happy place. And I feel, you know, they, they mishandled you because I feel like you're a beautiful high vibe energy. You radiate that beautiful um, vibration of joy. I think you excite this person and you made them really happy. And I feel like they're just used to, they're used to dealing with people that are in the lower vibrational frequencies who are divine feminines. So this is a masculine who's used to dealing with toxic women, um, people who are unhealed and people who aren't as nurturing, compassionate and kind as you. So I feel like he mistreated you because he wasn't used to dealing with a high vibe empress. So I feel like, you know, you're someone who knows your value. You embody the energy of all the queens. You're a beautiful dolphin. And this is a six, which is about past life soulmates. So I feel like you might have a very strong soul connection with this person. It could be a past life soulmate. But six sixes are also about long-term relationships. So this is someone that, you know, could have um, been brought into your life for you guys to marry and connect on like a deeper level. And this masculine kind of treated it like a fling. And he didn't treat you as good as he should have. And he's really regretting that. And he wants another chance because I feel like since he's disconnected from you, he hasn't been able to find a woman who, you know, lives up to your energy. You have this beautiful energy and it's all about the energy that you embody. And, you know, he might be finding all these women that look good on the outside, but they don't have that beautiful soul 
connection that they have with you and it's all very superficial and materialistic yeah so i feel like you're someone very wise divine feminine you have this ancient wisdom that you embody and you apply it into your life so i feel like they see you as someone very mature very wise and you have this beautiful energy about you so i feel like you might have been dealing with a lot of immature feminine energy since he's been with you and he realizes now how beautiful your energy is how happy you made him how high vibrational you are and how wise you are so i feel like it's a masculine who didn't appreciate you while he had the chance and then he's been connecting with partner after partner since you have exited his life or been in separation and he's really really thinking about you know everything going Man, I had a really good one. And it's kind of like the one that got away in his mind, you know? And he's like regretting this. Yeah, you're very spiritual as well. So you have this beautiful energy where you listen to your intuition, you stay positive, you keep the faith, and you radiate such beautiful energy. And I think this masculine has never encountered somebody as gracious and beautiful as you. And I think, you know... Yeah, he's very hungry for you. I think he misses you. It's a masculine energy who's very hungry for you and he misses you. And I think, yeah, it, he's longing for you from afar. He didn't expect to feel so deeply about losing you when you disconnected. And he's emotionally overwhelmed right now about all his feelings. And he's feeling quite hungry for you. He wants to hunt you down. He misses you. He misses your energy. So you have beautiful energy, Divine Feminine. And someone's missing you. And a masculine is really regretting how he treated you. Regretting not appreciating you. So that's really positive, Sagittarius. So let's see. <laughs> let's see how else you're feeling towards this masculine. If you're coming up as the dolphin. If you're the Sagittarius. I feel you're the Sagittarius. So these cards don't want to slide. They just, they just want to stick together. Because they were in my van and it got really hot. And then they all started sticking together because they kind of melted. <laughs> so I think I need to buy a new deck of these cards and then keep the shitty ones for when I'm traveling in the van because I'm going to be um, trying to do the readings mobily soon. So let's see <sighs> what comes through the energy. How do you feel about this person? We have growth. So I feel like you felt like this person needed to grow. They needed to grow up. They needed to learn their lessons in their own time. So I feel like you just let this person go with love. And I think you kind of like have this sense of wisdom and faith that, you know, the universe will put this masculine energy through his lessons. So I feel like you're kind of in the vibration of um, when... When we love someone, we've got to set them free. If they come back to us, it's meant to be. And it's also kind of an energy of like... Um, people need to learn their lessons in their own time. You can't make people see things from your perception until they've learned the lessons that the universe and their soul came to earth to do. So that is why you're so wise and intuitive and have so much faith because you know that people incarnate on this planet to learn, to grow on a soul level. So you're very deep, divine feminine. You're very wise and you're an empress and I feel like you know things that maybe other people don't recognize or know. So I feel like you, you knew you guys had to separate for this masculine to appreciate you. So, you know, now that he has learned his lesson, he's he's gone full circle. He's And I, I got really um, guided to the eight. So I feel like he's completing his cycles, right? And now he's emotionally overwhelmed because he didn't appreciate you when he had you. But when he made that decision or choice to not show the gratitude that you deserved and be honorable in the relationship, the universe was like, okay, this masculine needs to grow up. He needs to mature. He needs to learn his lessons. So we're going to put him through lessons with karmic partners now so that he appreciates this feminine and what she actually brought to the table because it, he wasn't ready. He didn't see your value. He didn't recognize your worth. Maybe it's a masculine who was quite superficial and was looking at women in a superficial way, how hot they were 
and all these kind of physical things were more important to him than someone who has beautiful energy, someone who's positive, someone who's a beautiful light, who radiates beautiful energy, who makes them happy, who embodies such maturity and wisdom, who's spiritual and intuitive, who is an empress who's very abundant. So maybe those things he overlooked in the past, he needed to learn and grow about what's important in life and become more gracious. And I feel like he hurt you when he dis disconnected or detached from you. And he's been on a bit of a journey to appreciate what, what is important in life and really show gratitude. So now he wants a second chance. So I'm going to leave that there, Sagittarius, and take this over to the extended reading. I'm going to get a little bit more over at the extended reading. We're going to use Brian Froud's fairy deck and we're going to use the um, spirit animal deck by Kim Krantz in the extended reading. And we're going to, you know, channel a few more messages. If you're resonating with this message, the link is below in the description box to the extended reading. You can follow me over to Vimeo where you can access the reading individually, or you can join my Patreon page and become a member for an entire month at a cheaper rate. I really appreciate your energy exchange. And I also would like to let you know that if you'd like to make a donation to my PayPal, if you ever feel guided to exchange energy with me, if you're watching my readings, and also you can also donate a deck on my Amazon wish list. All that information is in the description box below. Otherwise, see you next week. Take care. Bye, Sagittarius.